What's up, YouTube? Welcome to our second pack battle with Yu-Gi-Oh! Old School. First one was a great success. Lots of views. Thanks for, thanks for that. In ancient Egypt, there exists a force so powerful it had to be locked away for a millennia. Now, oh, now, one boy has released the power. It's time to do. Nine cards per pack. There's our uh, ratio right there. So we don't get a hollow in every pack, all you newbies. And I'm not sure how to tell if it's a retail pack or if it's a hobby pack. Pretty sure they'd be retail. Um, but yeah, there's the back of it. I know. I know you, you old school, you might be able to <clears throat> shine some light on that. But I'm not too sure about it. Without further ado, let's get going. Some of these packs I bought from a trusted seller. Most of them were from, from someone new though. So packs don't look tampered with in any way. I know Mr. Old School had that video where he had the resealed packs, which was unfortunate. But hopefully we don't get anything like that. All right, get started. We have a rock from the Valley of Haze, Element Magician. Back to square one. Ying Zen Hu, I think, <laughs> and Fusilier Dragon Dual Mode Beast. Harvey Lady 3, awesome. Pretty sweet. Set back that side, actually. <clears throat> Moki Moki Smackdown. Element Source. This was an awesome card back in the day. I remember getting that, that getting some use. And the Creator Incarnate. Little mini creator. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, Rise of Destiny. Was that the first set with ultimates where they switched over? Or is that Soul the Duelist? Can't remember. But like I said, I'd never really opened many of those when they first were first released. Not oh yeah, sorry. Look at the back there. Not the greatest start, but I have faith. Like I said the packs don't look tampered with in any way, so. And there's the code. So let's see if we can't get something nice. I'm hoping we both do great. So good luck to you as well, Mr. Old School. But we'll see. Like I said, I haven't really tested these yet. I'm not sure if, or sorry, I haven't really uh, bought from this seller before, but Sometimes you just gotta trust them, especially with these old packs. All right, so we have uh, Gift of the Martyr, Hita, the Fire Charmer, Level Conversion Lab, and Royal Surrender. Yeah, it's really hard to find some of these guys, so Miss Polymerization. Sometimes you just gotta take what you can get. Monk Fighter, King of the Skull Servants, Double Attack. It's a little messed up there, it's unfortunate. <clears throat> All right, oh, oh, for two to start it off. I believe it's very similar to how I started my last pack battle. And if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. That's where we got the idea to do this. Because we also had some similar packs lying around, so... Yeah, figured might as well get another pack battle going. The other one was pretty close. And yeah, that's the code for this. Shadow of Infinity would be awesome to get one of the Divine Beasts. Of course, oh, I absolutely destroyed that pack. I'd like to try to keep them intact, but failed on that one. And like I said, let me know in the comments, what are, are these hobby packs? Are these retail packs? Let me know. Do I even have a chance at an ultimate Divine Beast? Or are we just looking for ultras? Next, to be lost. DD Guide. Silent Insect. 
Malice Ascendant and a Karma Cut. Ancient Gear Drill. Machine King Prototype. Super Junior Confrontation and Saber Beetle. <clears throat> yeah, the Shadow of Infinity, Infinity were actually the only packs that I bought from a trusted seller. But even still, you never know. I've sold packs before and people have complained about the Alder Sakeo Dive and I didn't pull a hollow. But you never know with loose packs. Really taking a gamble. So there's the code again if you guys want to take a look. Cyber Dark Impact. Some Zane Truesdale cards in here, hopefully. Statue of the Inferno. Chain Strike. These guys look like they go together. Just in terms of artwork. Uh, okay. Barrier Statue of the Abyss. We got all the barrier statues here. Justy Break. And Flash of the Forbidden Spell. Snipe Hunter. Alien Mars. Senate Switch, Queen's Bodyguard. I'm trying to keep the <clears throat> cards in, kind of out of the shadow, just because see that there. Has that little shadow. All right. So, not great to start off. What's making that sound? Oh, something on my desk rattling. Okay. Rise of Destiny. Can we rise up? Out of the rares to get one hollow. Yes. Now these are out of purchased 10 of these, 20 and 20, and then 24. So there are more to come. Possibly a pack battle part two. I know. Mr. Old School has also has some extra packs laying around. Harpy Girl. Hmm. Is that the uh, the uncensored version? Might be. She looks like she's showing a little bit of cleav cleavage there. All right, go with the other Harpy card. We have a Mind Hazards Hacksaws. Hacksaws. I hope. Axors, right? Yeah. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Awesome. Flint. Is that a rare? Yeah, trying to keep it out of the, sh out of the shadow there. Furin Kazan. Moki Moki King. Awesome. Harpy Lady 3 again. And Moki Moki Smackdown. All right, well, again, going just like the start of our last pack battle, but hopefully we can kick it up. We've got 20 packs here total, so, I mean, I'm expecting something. Might be kind of greedy, too, but hoping to get some foils here. All right, so we have a level conversion lab. Awesome Elemental Hero Burstinatrix. Awesome Elemental Hero. Doriado's Blessing, or Doritos, as many of you might know her as. Her or him. Eerie of the Water Charmer. And oh, awesome. Okay. So that's uh, what I was actually, I don't know if I mentioned it, I wanted. Definitely, obviously, that's that's the super you, you want if you're going to get a super. Winged Karibo. Awesome. I'm not even sure if I have a first edition super rare winged Karibo. I definitely don't have the ultimate. I've been looking for the ultimate, but um, I, I just haven't gone around to picking it up. There's some other cards that I had wanted more. Awesome. Winged Karibo. When this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, 
Its effect is activated. After activation, during this turn, any battle damage that controller of this card takes becomes zero. Awesome. We have our first foil. Confirmation, hopefully, that they're not scaled. I've heard things that the GX packs are hard to scale, though, and I, I've even have t tried to test them out. Uh, I think a lot of the blister packs are harder to scale. So, hopefully. Hopefully we get something. Get an ultra rare here, maybe an ultimate. We'll be smart. <clears throat> All right. Shadow. Into the shadows of infinity. With our second search for the divine beasts. I can't remember what Rune King and Queen of Oblivion. Be careful with them. I believe those are also in here. Keep an eye out for those. Oh, were those upside down? Pack looks fine. Maybe I just opened them weird. Success probability zero. I hate getting this card at the top. Like it's just, it's just such a. It's like if you ever, if you're thinking about a card that you may want, sometimes maybe you're about to open a pack and you call out a card that you want. Success probability zero. It's like oh. Not a great start. All right, awesome. Next to be lost, DD Guide, Silent Insect, and an Upside Down Option Hunter. The rest of the cards in the pack are upside down, so it wasn't, it wasn't crazy, yeah. They, they, they did come upside down. Magnet Circle, level two. Ancient Gear, Samsara, and Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Yeah, so that did, yeah, okay, that was right. <clears throat> Oops. All right. Let's see if we can make an impact. Zane, with our cybergenic impact. Booster packs. Any of the cybers would be awesome, obviously. I really don't have many, that's why, again, why I picked it up. Awesome, instant fusion, I remember that. Was worth a pretty penny, especially a first edition. Yeah, I'm sure it's been reprinted many a times. Man Beast of Ares. Accumulated Fortune. Barrier Statue of the Inferno. And Dark Lucius, uh, Lucius Level 6. Is a rare. Counter Cleaner. Allure Queen, Level 3. Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds. It's another Barrier Statue card. And a uh, by-road sacrifice. Okay. All right. Let's go, baby. Not too much. What do we have? How many have we opened so far? Eight packs opened so far. One hollow. Not the best. Hopefully, do hopefully we pick it up. It was Wing Karibo, though. Pretty happy about that. It's definitely one of the cards I would love an ultimate of. But let's see if. Part of the cards doesn't lie with one of these Rise of Destiny packs. Harpy Lady 2, awesome. Haven't pulled her yet. Put her aside. We have Creeping Doom Manta. It's a creepy card for the Halloween festival time. The <laughs> Halloween festival. The spooky month, we'll call it. It's not Halloween yet. Creeping Doom Manta. Tactical Espionage es Expert. Nightmare Penguin. Another awesome spooky card. And a Gaia Soul, the Combustible Collective. Another rare. Malice Dispersion. Eagle Eye. Furin Kazin. And Moki Moki King. Some of these are, yes. The back of them. Like the back cards are kind of coming out damaged, it looks like. It's happened on a couple now. All right. The Lost Millennium. Oh, there was a garage. Don't wait a little bit. The Lost Millennium. We have our, sorry about that. We have our Ancient Gears. Obviously. 
and that Wink Karibo. Would be awesome to pull a Wink Karibo ulti. Again, I'm not sure if it's possible or if it's only in hobby packs, if these even are. But would be amazing. And we're back. Just cutting out a little bit of interruption there. As you can hear, a little bit of barking still resonating. Oh, awesome. Elemental Hero Clayman. He took the Fire Charmer. Elemental Hero Avian and Ancient Gear Beasts. Would be another awesome ulti to get. Wouldn't mind that. Mind goal. Win the Wind Charmer. Monk Fighter and Medusa Worm. We're just going to power through all of the interruptions. Have a little garage door opening down there. A little garage door action. Sorry about that. Alright. Shadow of Infinity. Let's see if one of these ancient beasts Divine Beasts. Mixing up ancient gears. Let's see if one of these Divine Beasts won't show themselves from their shadows. From their infinite shadows. Some of the attacks are kind of questionable. This looks a little weird up there. Anyways. Elemental Hero, Neo Bubble Man. Parasitic. Miracle Kids. Hero Kid. And oh, an ultimate rare. Awesome. Cyclone Boomerang. So it's a good sign for hopefully they're not uh, scaled. I believe I already have a few first edition of these, but it's never bad to see an ulti. Awesome. I love how the ulti here actually, you can see like the circles almost moving. The, the light moving in the circles. Pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. You can only equip this card to Elemental Hero Wild Heart. Increase the attack of the equipped monster by 500 points. When the equipped monster is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Inflict 100 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each spell or trap card destroyed by this effect. Cool. Cyclone Boomerang. Actually, one of the alties I was hoping not to get. That. What can you ask for? Awesome. Goki Pond. End of the world. Ten Kabito Shien. And Machine King Prototype. Awesome, awesome, possum. Now we're back from another short intermission. Gonna have to cut that one out as well. It's really tough to, to get these get these videos in sometimes. You ask politely. Anyways. So it's our Cyberdark Impact. Not bad. Getting an ultimate rare. Again, not the one you want, but what are you going to do? See if we can't get a Cyber Dark Dragon Ultimate Rare right here. I won't be greedy, I'll take an Ultra. No, if you're going to give Ultimate, please, I'll take that too. <laughs> a Stray Osmodian, another Instant Fusion. Man Beast of Ares. Accumulated Fortune. And a Cyber Dark Edge, awesome! We will take it. Again, any of the cyber dark cards, or the cyber cards, it's got a weird little. Does it? Yeah. It's, is that, that better not be a bend. No, I don't think it is. It's just a line, unfortunate. I'm like the king of getting cards with weird. <laughs> uh, if you look at, if you see one of my other videos, I think I pulled a magic cylinder that was pretty messed up. And this one has a little, like, uh, factory error line through it. Goes through the whole card. It's kind of weird. Anyways. Can't complain. We'll take a hollow. Awesome. 
So the packs, yeah, awesome. Yeah, these are the packs that I, I wasn't sure about. I'm gonna pick up more after this video, actually, because I think this just confirmed that, hopefully confirmed, that the seller is not scaling. Perfect. When this card is normal summoned, select one level three or lower dragon type monster in your graveyard and equip it to this card. This card gains attack equal to the equipped cards attacked. This card can attack your opponent directly. If it attacks using this effect, the battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is halved. If this card would be destroyed by battle, the equipped monster is destroyed instead. Cyber Dark Edge. Cool. We'll take it. Again, we'll also take it in Ultimate Rare, but <laughs> what are you going to do? I think, I think that just proves that these are um, retail packs, I think, right? Because the uh, Cyclone Boomerang is a rare coming in Ultimate Rare, and I've gotten two Super Rares so far. So, and we have Abaca, Abica? Ab no, Ab Abaca? Ab no, Abiki. Abiki. Change detonation. Dark Lucius level 4 and level... Level down? Level down? Question mark? <clears throat> Alright. Nice. Let's go. Let us believe in the rise of the heart of the cards. In our second last Rise of Destiny booster pack for this pack that not bad. Two supers and an ultimate so far. Hopefully we can pile it on. I know Mr. Mr. Yu-Gi-Oh! Old, Yu -Oh old School has some pretty good luck himself. And yeah, hopefully we can, we can get some more, some more foils. Raging Flame Spirit. Spell Purification. Mighty Guard. Mirage Dragon. Another awesome card. And Necklace of Command. It's a rare. Foxfire. Awesome card. Looks like Charmander. Invasion. Or sorry. Invasion of Flames. Malice of Dispersion again. And Eagle Eye. Actually, I'm going to keep that Eagle Eye card aside. I'm always looking for Eagle cards because I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. I kind of want to get one kind of get some get somebody artsy to maybe edit one for me edit that's not the word i'm looking for you know draw on one make it look cool make it look like a philadelphia eagle anyways side note <clears throat> our lost millennium can we get oops, hit the camera there. can we get lost in our ancient gears we will see Others. Elemental Hero Avion, Rock Bombardment, Heater the Fire Charmer. Is that a, oh, I almost thought that was a super. Des Wombat, and a Hero Signal, it's a rare. Impenetrable Formation, Mind Golem, Win the Wind Charmer, and a Monk Fighter. Pretty sure Win and Monk Fighter like always come together. All right, down for a second last shadow of infinity. Our second last chance to search for those divine beasts, at least for this video. More packs to come. All right, silent insect. Next to be lost, elemental hero bubble man. Ancient gear factory. Chainsaw Insect, Symbol of Heritage, Sand Moth, not sure why that's a moth, Generation Shift, and Chain Thrasher. Cyber Dark Impact. Alright, what do you got for us? Getting down to the nitty gritty. Mystical Wind Typhoon. 
barrier statue of the heavens. Straight flush. Stray Osmodian and an ultimate rare allure queen level five. Awesome. First edition. It's an allure queen level five, but I mean, come on. It's an ultimate rare. At that, I don't have, so we will take it. I had the Cyclone Boomerang, so I'm a little bit less excited about that. But, so Lord Green, pretty cool. All right, let's see if I can't get it to freaking focus. Pretty cool Alti. I don't know how I feel about the Altis with the pitcher showing a little. Kind of like them, kind of don't. Eh, I'm impartial about it. Once per turn during your main phase, if this card was special summoned by the effect of a Lure Queen level 3, you can select one level 5 or lower monster on your opponent's side of the field and equip it to this card. Only one card at a time can be equipped to this due to this effect. If this card would be destroyed by battle, the equipped monster is destroyed instead. During your standby phase, by, st by sending this card to the graveyard while it is equipped, Due to its effect, special summon one Allure Queen, level 7 from your hand or deck. Awesome, ulti rare. Cool. All right, Mr. Old School. See how you do there. Two ultimate rares and two super rares. Not too bad. Corruption Cell A, Blast Osmodian, Chain Healing, and Alien Infiltrator. Woo! Not bad. We'll take it. Cool, cool, cool. Set that up later. All right. In our final Rise of Destiny pack for the video, we have. Do we have the heart of the cards, sir? May we? May we borrow it? We will. We'll, we'll send it back. We're done with it. Just need it for this little pack open, sir. And then we will return the heart of the cards. Thank you, Yugi. Mind Haxos, RB girl. Back to square one. Lighten the load. And a dark blade, the Dragon Knight. I saw the saw the fusion. Thought we were gonna get lucky. Have an ultimate of this, but it was it's not in the greatest condition. I'd like to get an ultimate first edition. I always thought this was a great card. It has the uh, dark blade and then pitch dark dragon. Fruits of Kazaki's studies. This guy's got a little story arc from behind his cards. That's so pretty cool. Pretty sure it's the mad scientist or something like that. I can't remember what the, what the actual card's name is. Ballista, Ballista of Rampart Smashing. Foxfire and Invasion of the Flames. Last Millennium. Another Ultimate Rare Wing Karibu. Did I hear that? I didn't say that. We'll see. I mean, I'll take a, an egg. An Aggie as well. An Ancient Gear Golem. Ancient Gear Soldier. Good start. It's heading in the right direction. Gift of the Martyr. Battery Charger. Elemental Hero Sparkman to charge it up by the Battery Charger. And Legendary Black Belt. I believe I have that in Ultimate Rare as well. Lost Guardian. Grave Lure. King of the Skull Servants. And Impenetrable Formation. Just destroying the camera. All right, in our last two packs, the heart of the cards. No, our game, can we get it on? Can we get our game on with these last couple GX packs? Let's go. Raviel, show yourself. Yuria, Hammond. Ancient Gear Cannon, Grass Phantom, Hero Heart, Hero Kid, 
adhesive explosive. Unfortunately. No Divine Beast today. Ancient Gear. Ten Kibito Shien. And Gokipon. Our last pack of the day. Of the battle. Yu-Gi-Oh! Old School. I don't know. I think I did pretty well. I, it is 20 packs, though. It's quite a bit. But, I mean, two ultimate rares. Can't really complain. Can't really complain. Knowing you, you'll pull uh, an Ancient Gear Golem, though. So, anyways. With our last pack. Flame Ogre. Vanity's Call. Cyber Ogre. Can we get another Cyber in here? Mystical Wind Typhoon and Rampaging Rhinos. Unfortunately, we do not end it strong. Alien Infiltrator, Counter Cleaner, Blue or Green Level 3, and Barrier Stature of the Storm Winds. Couldn't finish on a hollow, but cannot complain with what we did pull. To get two ultimate rares, I think is pretty good. 20 packs, it's quite a bit, but it's only five of each, so. Get another sleeve for this guy. Okay, guys, so just to go over our pools for the day, we got our two ultimate rares. Hold them up. Two ultimate rares, we have a lure queen that you cannot focus on, obviously. And Cyclone Boomerang. Pretty awesome. We have our two super rares, which I think are even better than our ultimate rares. Winged Karibo and Cyber Dark Edge. Awesome. Old school anime cards. Classic GXs. Don't have that many cybers, so really looking forward to trying to collect some of those. But stay tuned. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to go check out Yu-Gi-Oh! Old Schools. You're probably coming from there. Let's get real. He's got way more subscribers than me. We aspire to get up there, but make sure you check out his video. We'll link it in the description. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more awesome old school videos. Peace.